Hi, everyone. Hi, friends. I hope you're doing great today. This is called Got in the Rain Soap Day Hair. That's okay. I'm here. Listen, today I have something really exciting. I want to challenge you. You know, a lot of times we need something to move us, right? To motivate us to say, get going. Okay, don't procrastinate. Sometimes your tomorrows, have you ever noticed that sometimes your tomorrows don't look anything like you thought they would? And you don't get anything done, or you just don't feel like it, or you feel sick, or you didn't sleep at night, so you didn't you don't feel motivated to do anything for your online business. Well, okay, that's gonna stop right now. One hundred, that's the thing. I want to challenge you to put one hundred. 100 new listings on your Etsy shop before Christmas Eve. Okay? Raise your hand if you're ready. Raise your hand. 100 new listings. Just think, what would that do to your shop? If you had 100 new items, yes, yes, I see you, yes, saying yes, yes, yes. Me too. I started last night. Okay. I figured there's a little less than about 90 days before Christmas Eve 2018, right? So if you put up two a day for about 10 days and then put one up a night before Christmas Eve, at the end of Christmas Eve, you will have 100 new listings in your shop. All right, now, two things. All you have to do, two things to make sales, potential sales. I can't promise anything online, but I can promise you, you'll get lots of views. Now. If you put up something people are looking for and do your keyword research, boom, okay? These are buyers. Etsy is a buyer's marketplace, okay? It's like a Walmart. It's like going to the mall online. People aren't going just to look around. You know, they're not going to look at the shelves. They are going to buy. They're going to pull out their wallet or their credit card or their PayPal, and they're going to buy. Buy something. Somebody so you know, I I got a sale while I was sleeping because people buy all around the clock, all around the world. Okay, question. I just combined three shops and I have 135 listings. Good job. So what should I do now? Promoted listings. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You can start with one dollar per day. And there's a little drop down that says when you when you go in there and it says budget. Put in $1, put in $5, whatever you can afford. And then there's a little, there's a little link and it says advanced. Tap on that and you can put in one cent, one cent, 0 0.01 or do 0 0.05 and, and do it until you see, okay, put the listing, put the promoted listing in there, say a nickel, a nickel, and then go into Etsy, wait about five minutes and then Put in your keyword term, your main keyword term, and see if it shows up. If it doesn't, go back in and up the budget until you see your shirts show up on the first page, okay? Then you'll know. Then you'll know how much you're bidding against the people on the first page, okay? Yes? Yes, okay? I talk a lot more about that in my course. So that will be, your, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. It is a very cool tip. When I learned that, it changed. It changed my Etsy shop. It really did. It changed. It changed it for me. So, again, 100 listings between now and Christmas Eve. Today is September 27th. September 27th. You get um, 100 listings up before Christmas Eve and you have great potential to completely change your shop if you're using keywords that people are looking for and you get your shop with what people are already buying in front of what people are already looking for and you're going to get potential sales, okay? Uh, when's the best time to do promoted listings? Now, yesterday, last night, <laughs> do it now. Do it right now, okay? So because some of your, if, you're, if your shop listings have been up, hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, do it right now. Oh, my gosh. People are already starting to buy. 
Okay. I got to sell while I was sleeping. People are buying. They're buying right now. I'm buying for Christmas. People are already buying for Christmas. I've already got stuff in my top of my closets in a hallway with Christmas gifts. Okay. And I'm not a planner. And can you imagine people that start in September buying online? Like my husband, he's already got boxes coming on the porch. People buy like crazy between now and December. Get your listings up there. 100 new listings. Here's the thing. If you have something that has sold well, then list it again in a different color. Say, for example, you have a black, um, you know, butterfly t-shirt. Put up a pink one and put this and put the main keyword that has been bringing you sales. Put up a white one. Put up a gray one. Okay. You do it with Printful. You do it with Gearbubble. You do it with a lot of different companies. And you can, man, you can maximize your sales by taking the same design and listing it six or seven times in a different color. It's a unique listing. Change your keywords in your title just a little bit. And it is a different shirt because it's a different color. But if it's your best selling design, put it on everything. Try it on a tote bag. Try it on uh, a pillowcase. That's what I did. And that's how I started getting sales is I found out what people were buying from my shop. And then I put it on sweatshirts. And I put it on pillowcases and it works like a charm. A lot of times people buy one of each. Okay, let's see. When is the best time now? Yes, Sherry. Hi. As a separate listing, can this work for a vintage shop? Okay, first of all, as a separate listing, are you asking? Um, yes, you put each, each T-shirt color, say, okay, white butterfly shirt. And then next listing, um, gray butterfly shirt, black butterfly shirt. And those are separate listings. If that's your best seller, take that design and man, spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. I know a case study of a guy who did this with um, some kind of, it was a special box that he created and he made, oh my gosh, thousands of dollars by, and he didn't even change the listing, which is against terms of service. It has to be something different, okay? Don't put the same item on there more than once. It has to be different. But if it's the same design, but a different color shirt, that's a unique listing and change your listing each time, you know, but put the keyword a little different in the title and in your tags and in your description. Just make each one unique, but it's the same design, but it's a different color. And that's how you can 10x your results. Can this work for a vintage shop? It can work for any shop. If, if you're selling something that people are looking for, you have to find the keywords. Go into Chrome. There is a free keyword Chrome extension. It's called keywordseverywhere.com. Download it. Go into Etsy search bar and put in butterfly t-shirt. It'll show you underneath the bar how many people a month are searching for that particular thing. If there are several hundred, even if it's, even if it's a couple hundred people who are looking for butterfly t-shirt, yes. It's worth doing. If you only sell one a month, you know, that's $10. If you sell 10 a month, that's $100 for just that one keyword. Just think of every keyword is a potential um, $10 because I do a $10 profit margin now on everything I put up. So when I make a sale, I know I just made $10 because I charge uh, shipping on top of that. They pay shipping. I get the base cost. From the print on demand company, I add $10, boom, I'm done. I move on to the next one. You are welcome, Sherry. And Sherry, remember if you have vintage, no matter what you have in your shop, say you're very creative, awesome creativity oozing out of your pores, and that is such a gift. It's such a gift. Then you can also do print on demand. 
Okay, so say you make butterfly jewelry. You can do print on demand butterfly shirts and they might order a, you know, a butterfly necklace and a butterfly shirt. Okay, so you've got to expand your thinking instead of thinking just, you know, I just have this one thing that I make. Take that one thing you make. And if it's you see that you're making sales because people love butterflies, people love tigers, people love dinosaurs. Take that same theme and put it on print on demand. T-shirts, tote bags. Um, you could even do um, there's print on demand shower curtains where you can take that same design and put it on shower curtains. You can put it on aprons. People love aprons. There are people who just do aprons. There are print on demand cutting board companies where you can take that same design and put it on cutting boards. There's some people who are just selling hundreds and thousands of dollars of cutting boards that are print on demand. Some are doing it by hand and some are print on demand. And see, a lot of people are making sales that nobody knows about because I research it because this is what I do. So I'm always looking for case studies. And anytime I'm in Etsy, I'm always, always back engineering and looking at the shops and seeing what their best sellers are. So people are selling all these things. It's just you have to use your keywords everywhere dot com. Find out what people are looking for and put it in front of them. That's it. And then use the promoted listing strategy that I talked about at the beginning. Just when I end this video, just just do replay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. OK. I told you where to find the best keywords and you can use Etsy rank. Etsy ranks great. But um, keywords everywhere is all I use because it's so easy. Hey, Jim, how are you? How are you? Yes, I do $10 profit on my T-shirts. Like I said, I find a design, okay? I find a design like I, I did yesterday, so I did. Um, I'm right beside my husband. We're on our laptops, and I see this design that is just, you know, like 10 people have it in their cart, 20 people have it in their cart. You know, you'll see that on the right-hand side. That means that sucker is selling. It is selling like crazy. So I don't copy the design. But I model it and I go into PicMonkey and PicMonkey has, um, you know, they have a little butterfly on the left hand side and you can overlay with that butterfly. And they also have a list of um, images that you can use. And there's butterflies and dragonflies and everything. And you just drag it over and then you hit text and you drag text over and you can make your own design within like a minute or two minutes. Okay. If you're really slow, 30 minutes, you can make your own design. You don't even have to buy them. A lot of designs on Etsy, which really surprised me that are selling really well are just words. There's no, there's not even a picture. There's not even a design. Okay. So your brain's going to say, but I can't. But I can't design, but I can't do images, but I can't afford to buy images. You don't need any of that. Pick Monkey is like $7.99 a month, and you could make your own stuff. You know, something really, really ugly that I just took a phrase and put it on a coffee mug. It sold last night while I was sleeping. I never dreamed it would sell. And then some other things that, you know, I just put together on Pick Monkey that I made myself. And, and I put it on there. If you put something that somebody wants and you put a $10 profit margin on it and they see it, they're going to buy it. I used to think, but I looked on that page and mine is the most expensive item on that page. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. When a buyer is in a buying mode and it's impulse. And they see your item and it's either, okay, it makes them laugh or it makes them cry or it makes them think of, that is my Uncle Buck. My brother's like, Uncle Buck, that's my Uncle Buck. I got to have it. That's perfect. I'll put it in his stocking at Christmas. Okay. So remember, people buy on emotion. People buy on emotion. They don't buy because it's the cheapest thing on there. Most of the time, okay, they buy it because that's the one I want. You know, that's it. I want that. You know, we have a going joke in my family where some of the grandchildren, you know, they're like, 
you know, I want that and I want I want everything. What do you want for Christmas? I want everything. Well, that's how people are. They go into Etsy and they see really cute stuff. Like they see baby onesies, they see leggings, they see aprons, they see cutting boards, they see t-shirts. And it reminds them of somebody or themselves. I mean, I left my head off last night. My husband, I love to sit and watch Andy Griffith. And, you know, Howard Sprague was, was doing something really, really stupid. And I laughed. I got so tickled because I said, Oh my gosh, that would be me. I would be doing that stupid thing. Okay. I love, I grew up watching, I love Lucy. I'm telling my age. I grew up, I love Lucy, right? Okay. So I was older when I watched it, but I still, I love Lucy. And so if somebody said something about that, they got me books for Christmas because they said, you remind me of Lucy Ball. I love Lucy because, you know, I'm just sort of scatterbrained like that. But see, people, will say, oh my gosh, that would be perfect for Harold. You know, he loves the office. Okay, one thing about thing, one thing, okay, so that right there, be very careful. Don't use any copyrighted or trademark images. Now you're gonna see stuff like that all over Etsy. Okay, that's their business, right? But if somebody flags their shop, they can get shut down. Or if somebody reports them, they can get shut down. Okay, so, just because everybody's doing it, like your mother always told you, doesn't mean you should do it. Leave it alone. There's thousands and thousands of other phrases and images you can use that are not copyrighted and not trademarked. Go into Google and put in the phrase if you think it's copyrighted. And a lot of times the trademark will show up. If you have any doubt, consult a trademark attorney. I'm not a trademark attorney. Okay. I do not give legal, legal advice. I only give out what is working for me advice. That's what I do. Okay, so let's see what, what questions we have. Hi, Diana. How are you? You're up to three sales all Halloween. Yay! <laughs> it's awesome. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so proud of you. Diana, would you please post that on our Facebook group? You know, how to sell on Etsy. Are you in there? When we get off, I'm going to put a link to that. Okay. Uh, what about offering free shipping? Now, Etsy has come out and said, that one of the biggest objections to people making sales or not making sales on Etsy is the shipping, okay? Um, I have played around with this. Sometimes I've done free shipping, but then I only made like, you know, $5 less. And my biggest my biggest surge of sales is when I put the whole shop on sale for like 15% off. And then once you get sales, it boosts your, rank, it boosts your rankings in Etsy, okay? So sales is your best friend. What about offering free shipping? So in other words, I have not found that it has affected my sales. As he says, it does. So you need to test. One thing about staying online, and I've been online since 2013, that has been so invaluable to me to learn is don't believe what everybody else tells you. Test it for yourself. Okay. Nobody knows your shop like you. Nobody has the same exact items but you. So if you put up your shop and you want to try free shipping, try it. If you have little bitty, um, if you have like zero sales or 10 sales, do it. Do it. Um, I started with coffee mugs. I was only making like $4 profit. But the more sales I made, the more Etsy will rank you. And so it brings more traffic and people favorite your shop. And as you know, now they have a notification at the top and it says your favorite shop has new items. And when you do your 100 new listings before Christmas Eve, then just think every day, every day that you put up one or two new listings, Etsy's going to go out to everybody who's ever put one heart on your shop. And they're going to say, James shop has a new item, Sherry shop. And, and it's amazing. What's up, Jaguar? How are you? What's up? Glad to see you. Okay, so let's see. Um, see ya. So 50% off with $5 shipping is something I may test for quor fourth quarter. Absolutely. Test the heck out of it. I mean, test it. See what works. And you know what? When you get a base of customers and they like what you put out, there are shops that I buy from consistently. OK, so when you get a sh you get people coming back, you know, it's good to build your email list. But Etsy doesn't make that easy. You can put it in your your header banner, you know, for, you know, an additional 15 percent off. 
use this, um, go to this URL, and then you can link to an autoresponder link to build your list. And that is awesome. Etsy doesn't make it really easy because they want to keep all the customers inside the marketplace is my understanding. Okay. Not an official spokesman, but that is my understanding. So you can also put, you know, in your description to build your email list of customers. If you would like, you know, an additional 25% off coupon, go to this link and sign up to my newsletter. Okay, and there are many people who've done that successfully. However, with Etsy's new notifications, and you may have noticed if you bought anything on Etsy, that Etsy is now, number one, notifying the people who've been to your shop, who've either liked something or bought something or both. They are also sending out emails if you look at something. They will send an email to that person and say they looked at your vintage shop. And they said, hey, something in your vintage shop has just come on sale. That's the advantage of being on sale, too. Etsy will send is now starting all kinds of new marketing campaigns online to get more national and world attention to the marketplace itself and to each particular seller. So they're doing it's win win. Win win. And again, the challenge is between now and December 24th. 2018, get 100 new listings up on your shop. Okay, let's see. I, that's all right. I'm glad you're here. Um, why do you have Happy Camper Design if this is trademarked for T-shirts? I don't know that Happy Camper is a trademark for T-shirts. Okay, so I'm not sure what that really means. Are you talking about in my shop? Or are you talking about on a video? Because I know I have a video named that. So please explain. OK, again, be careful about trademark terms and copyrighted terms. If you find that you have inadvertently put something up, just go in and delete it. OK, remember, it only costs 20 cents to list an item. OK, I will check on that. I appreciate the heads up on that. Very good. Are there any other questions before I say ta ta before I, I sign off? Any other questions? Um, thank y'all so much for being here. It is so, so thank you. I appreciate it. It is just raining cats and dogs. It really is. Flood warnings. It's just crazy. Just crazy. But it's nice and warm in here. And um, I'm really, really glad to have you here with me. And he's asking, someone's asking about mock-ups. Mock-ups are the best. That's another thing that I have seen that has um, really helped my sales is you can buy mock-ups on Etsy and download them, put them into PicMonkey, save them in your hub. And then when you have a new design, all you have to do is go and drag that design over to your mock-up and pop it into your Etsy shop. Great to see you. Is it rainy there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is here too. So stay dry, stay warm. And today, start your 100 days. You know, just take take a calendar. Where's my calendar? You know, I have a planner. Every day, write down, you know, one, two. Every day, because remember, every time you do, it's free traffic because Etsy's going to notify anybody who's ever favorited your shopper item to come back and see you, okay? So, yay, Sherry! Yes, I will, 100 days. And I'm going to post the Facebook group underneath. would love to have you come in there and comment and tell me what you need. And I'm also going to give away two free bonus guides about Etsy to anybody who does 100 listings. Okay? It's all about you. It's all it's win-win for you. Okay? It's my gift to you to challenge you and get you moving because it's so easy to say, well, next week I'll put up seven new more. Okay, next week or when I'm not tired or when I've slept well, there's never a good time. There's not. Or when it's sunny, there's never a good time to sit down and, you know, put your nose to the grindstone and do it. Just do it. One or two a night. If you do two a night, you'll have more than 100 by Christmas Eve. Okay, how exciting is that? And Etsy will be bringing you people by saying, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got new stuff. He's got new stuff, right? Yes, Sherry. I am going to do this. Yes. I create some designs. I buy a lot of them from Etsy and Hungry JPEG. 
with commercial rights. Okay. I do both. You can do both. Don't let, but what if dot, 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 but what if dot, 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 remember a hundred days. Now a hundred sounds a little overwhelming. So what you do is you take a calendar or whatever works for you. What motivates you? Okay. And just, you know, on this day, every day, every day, mark down, you know, you can do this or you can do, I did two. And then I did two the next day. And by Christmas Eve, oh my word, you'll have more than a hundred new designs that could change your shop. I mean, it really could. And you will also know going into your dashboard analytics and look and see where the people are coming from and look and see what items are getting the most views. And also, of course, which ones are bringing you orders and then do more of that. Do more of that. If you have a black French bulldog t-shirt that's making sales, then take that same design and put it on a white t-shirt. Take that same design and put it on a teal t-shirt. Okay. And use a derivative, a similar keyword phrase for each one. So if you have one bulldog design that's selling, make 10, 10 listings of the same design, but a different colored shirt. As long as it's not the same, exact same item, okay, it's okay because you're doing a different colored shirt and you're doing a different listing. So you don't want to copy the same titles and tags and description. You want to make each unique. Every listing has to be unique, right? So make 100 new listings. When you find something that works, do more of it, okay? Niche or general. I started with a general and now I have a second knit shop that is doing really well. Okay, let's see. Etsy doesn't allow buying designs. Um, <laughs> Etsy does allow people to put up, there are people who are selling designs on Etsy who do very well. They sell, they sell P&Gs. And they sell designs for um, people who sew. And as long as it's their original design, it's, it's, it's kosher. Okay. Can I put a link here for my shop? Yes, Sherry. But the better place is I invite you to put links to your shop in the Etsy fan page. Okay. So I want all of you to go into the Etsy fan page, put your shop so people can see them unless. You, you don't want to show your best selling items. It's up to you. You know, some people copy it could create competition. It's up to you. But I would you can just send me privately when you have your hundred um, listings so I can send you the bonus. You can private message me in there and send me your link up to you. Totally up to you. You might get some sales that way. Who knows? OK. All right. So signing off. Take care. It's raining harder now. You stay warm, stay dry. This is Christy. Again, I'll put a link to the group. So come into the group and you can private message me there and ask me questions. Sherry, I'm going to do both. Good job. Okay. Two bonus books for you, downloadable. All you have to do is do yourself a favor every night. Put up one to two designs. Christmas Eve, it'll, it'll be your own present to yourself, right? And you will learn so much from doing that. You'll learn so much data. And remember, 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 don't be discouraged because your brain's going to say, but what if it doesn't work? The only thing that won't work is if you don't do it. You're going to find, even if you just find one thing that sells. Do you know my daughter-in-law put up so many designs when she was going to have our first, her, her first um, child, our granddaughter. And I love this story for solid year. Every night she came home and she put new designs, but there was only one thing in her shop out of all those listings that began to sell once a week. Well, at first it started once a month. Then she got a sale once a week. Then she got, um, then she got a sale once a day. And then when she got to 10 sales a day for a year, she quit her teaching job. That's it. She's like, I'm done. I'm working from home. I'm unemployable. 
Etsy is my employment. And that's exactly what she did. But it took testing, okay? It's not going to happen tonight. The two you put up tonight, one may be a winner, one may be a loser. They both, they both may be a loser. They, mo they both may be a winner. The only way you're going to know is test. Test the waters. And just because I don't like something doesn't mean somebody's not going to buy this you know, this phrase that they think is hysterical. Okay. Right. So it's not what we want. It's what the market is buying. Buyer keywords. Find out what's selling and put it in front of them. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. Once a week. That is awesome. What is happening? A lot is happening. God bless you, Sherry. A lot is happening. I'm challenging you. Okay. Accept my challenge, okay? 100 listings before Christmas Eve. You're going to, you know, who knows? You may find one winner. You may find two winners. It's the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your sales are going to come from 20% of your listings, but you'll never know until you get your little listings out there, spread them out there. Essie's going to tell the world, Sherry has a new listing. Jim has a new listing, okay? All right. That's all for today. Um, just, you know, I'll see you in the Etsy fan page and I'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great night and thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye now.